Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get into the trading week, we hear that Facebook have hit a $1 trillion market valuation for the first time in its history. And this actually led shares to shoot up by 4% yesterday. So this was following a court dismissal over a uh, FTC antitrust complaint against Facebook in which it said it was monopolizing the market. The FTC had alleged that Facebook violated the nation's anti-monopoly laws by acquiring promises in startups like Instagram that it perceived as a threat to its dominance and by preventing others from plugging into Facebook services. So the decision is a setback for antitrust uh, regulators and um, you know anyone else that's trying to show the world that Facebook is pretty much monopolizing that particular market by buying up all these startups and other companies. Um, but while the judge did dismiss this particular complaint, he declined to dismiss the case overall. So there could still be some ripples and um, things going on in the market. So look for a little bit of reversal when the market does open later, um, well, shortly actually. And also, um, you know, Tesla has hit another bump in the road in the Chinese market after there's been some more recalls in its, uh, well, in cars. And this comes after um, a system ac accidentally activated its, um, well, its cruise control, let's say. So, you know, it's, it's has cruise, con cruise control on and the acceleration is actually going a bit out of control and it's been failed to um, being taken under control. So, you know, another hit with Tesla trying to get back to its pre-stock price, stock split uh, price and back up to that magical $1,000 mark as well. So just looking up Facebook, first of all, today, as you can see, very grand ascension to the upside and we're just waiting to see if you know we're going to have a bit of a come down a bit of a reversal but things are looking quite buoyant this is a daily chart uh, for facebook uh, we could say at the moment there is a slight bearish divergence but i'm not sure if this is going to really slow momentum down in the near term we'll have to wait and see as i said when the market opens if there's going to be a little bit of a reversal in prices just bring it down to a intraday chart as well just to highlight that small uh, divergence to the downside so we're just looking to see if we're going to break lower past this uh, trend line and it's actually a uh, confluence of the top border of the ichimoku cloud as well which is quite significant um, when we're looking to see if we're going to put in buy and sell positions especially so you know i'll just be looking we have a bit of a mean spike there if we don't get more prominence to the upside then I'll just be looking to see if prices are going to start waning slightly so you know if we don't start pushing for the 370 uh, we've nearly got to 360 now if we got don't stop pushing to the 370 then I'll be expecting prices to start moving slightly lower so just a quick look on Tesla as well just want to bring it down to intraday first of all and then I'll bring it out on the daily chart so Again, with Tesla, you know, we are looking for a bit of a push to the upside, but, you know, there is quite a hidden bearish divergence there. So we could be seeing prices start to falter as well. We are moving away from the top border of the Ichimoku cloud, which is quite significant. But if we don't really start reaching these recent peaks up to um the, well, the, the higher end of seven seven hundred dollars or even the middle of seven hundred dollars uh, 750 760 then i'll be expecting a little bit more of a come down in prices and to hit the border as well of the ichimoku cloud just want to bring it to a daily chart just want to show you you know what we're looking at here the one thousand dollar mark seems to be quite a way away um that we're looking at so again we'll be seeing if there's any potential possibilities for that to start rising but with the detrimental headlines for tesla at the moment plus everything that the ceo is uh speaking about it is actually weighing in on prices and sentiment significantly so just a few things to look out for there as we go into the trading weeks so that's all from stockwatch today thank you very much for joining me as usual if you have any comments or queries please feel free to add them to the post and i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a great trading day ahead and bye for now